What's up, my awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you all. Hope you're all doing well out there. And today's video and this week's video, I actually want to start something that I've been thinking about doing for a while, and that is talking about horror movie boutique labels. Um, so, you know, now we have like Scream Factory and Vinegar Syndrome and Vestron Video, uh, Arrow Video. Um, a lot of great companies, but I decided to start with one of my favorite, or what used to be one of my favorite companies for obscure horror movies, um, you know, a major franchise, which I'm going to briefly talk about in a little bit. And if you're a collector like myself, you knew about this company. Um, you know, they started again releasing a lot of obscure stuff, and then later on, before, you know, they kind of went away, um, they kind of dived into a lot of mainstream mainstream stuff. Um, obviously, my favorite stuff is the early stuff from Anchor Bay, and that's the company I'm going to talk about. Um, again, I loved their obscure stuff that they would release. So, like, anything that was underrated, 80s horror movies, for example, horror movies in general, um, you know, before we had Scream Factory, um, you know, they had stuff like Hell Night Out or Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2. You would get like a double feature of that one. Uh, Madman, for example. So many great obscure horror movies, and I'm probably leaving off some, but they were really well known for releasing a lot of obscure um, horror movies, movies back in the day. Not just horror movies, but just, um, you know, a lot of great, you know, 80s and 70s movie gems, underrated films, um, absolutely loved Anchor Bay. And, um, you know, I wanted to, again, kind of start where pretty much it all started, um, at least with my knowledge, um, which was Anchor Bay. You know, they were one of the first, um, if not the first, um, company to release a lot of you know, those obscure titles. And I'm glad that we now have Scream Factory and Vinegar Syndrome, and again, Vestron Video, um, so many of those other companies out there now releasing this stuff. But, you know, you know, if, you, uh, if you're a collector like myself, um, you remember Anchor Bay, and you remember a lot of the fun stuff that they used to release. The one thing I also remember is that when something went out of print, um, and this is, you know, before, a lot of these movies hit Blu-ray now, but, you know, for example, Madman or the first edition of Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2, that double feature pack, um, you know, once they went out of print, they would go up in price. And so finding some of these movies um, when they went out of print was really tough because they did, you know, um, you know, go pretty, pretty much up in price. Uh, they were pretty pricey. That's where I was going with that. Um, you know, a movie that still is yet to get a, uh, another release from another company is Cheerleader Camp, uh, which is a, you know, late 80s slasher movie. Um, from my knowledge, uh, Anchor Bay is the only one um, who has released that, unless, you know, there's an overseas release of that movie. Um, you know, Cheerleader Camp is still one of those slasher movies. Even though it's not the greatest, um, we've still yet to get a Blu-ray release of that movie. Uh, maybe one day we'll get it. Hopefully, you know, Bestron Video or um, Vinegar Syndrome uh, or Scream Factory releases that movie. That would be really cool. Uh, but I want to go over some of the last stuff that I have from uh, Anchor Bay, which I don't have too many things now. Um, once a lot of these, you know, movies like Hell Night and Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2 were being released on Blu-ray, I got rid of the DVDs. Um, you know, I wish I would have kept some of them because the nostalgic person in me, I would love to have just looked at some of that stuff and like, you know, hold it in, hold it in my hand and um, just remember the good times purchasing some of these movies. Uh, so there's a lot of nostalgic for me and I think a lot of you all um, who grew up with Anchor Bay and, you know, collected Anchor Bay editions and movies from them. Um, so... I want to get started with uh, one of my favorite sets that I still have, and I know um, Second, Sight, Second Sight Films just released the 4K set and the Blu-ray set, uh, but that is Dawn of the Dead. Uh, this is the DVD release from Anchor Bay. This was the Ultimate Edition, and you had um, all three versions of the film. You had the theatrical cut, you had the extended cans cut, 
and then you had the Dario Argento version uh, in this set. And so I remember picking this up, and I think I had the, yeah, I, I know I had the, uh, just the standard uh, U.S. theatrical DVD from Anchor Bay, you know, the one that had the original artwork on it, uh, similar like this, but had different colors. I had that one at one point, and I really wanted to get the Ultimate Edition from Anchor Bay. So I think I paid uh, like $20 when... I purchased this and it was still in print and I still have it today. Absolutely uh, love it. Of course, I love, you know, the, the second sight release of this movie. It's, it's a fantastic release, but I think, you know, in the U.S., um, especially in the U.S., we have still yet to get a re-release of this movie from, you know, Scream Factory or any of those, you know, current horror movie boutique labels right now. So, um, as of right now, uh, the only way to get Dawn of the Dead in the U.S. is either getting this edition, getting the standard Blu-ray, which is out of print as well, or just coming across the standard DVD from Anchor Bay. Um, again, as I, as, as I know right now, um, at least here in the U.S., the only kind of releases of Dawn of the Dead that we've had is from Anchor Bay. So... Again, I really love the Second Sight release. I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, that 4K set is beautiful. Bonus features are great, but I really, really love the Ultimate Edition of George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. So I'll open this up real quick. Very cool inside. I met um, the actor who played Roger, uh, I believe Scott Reiniger. I'm probably saying a lot his last name wrong. So sorry about that, but the actor who played Roger, so I met him. And there's the back with one of the zombies. And then I still have my insert, which again, you know, when this came out, this was the way to get this movie because you had all three versions of the film. You had a ton of bonus features, which, you know, I believe the, the, the second site release carried over some of those bonus features. But this was just fantastic to have. And then there is the inside right there. And then you kind of flip it around. You get more artwork. I'll kind of just show this off, see if I can get the whole thing on camera. But you have that. You have a booklet. You have, I believe, a comic book was in there. But yeah, so you had, you know, again, three editions of this movie. Uh, again, the theatrical cut, the extended cut, and the and the Dario Argento version, um, which I believe was called Zombie. Um, so yeah, this set um, at the time was definitely the one to get um, if you were going to get any version of Dawn of the Dead at the time. This was uh, a beautiful set to have. And I absolutely love it. And I'm always going to hold on to this one. Very cool. Um, and, you know, the other thing about Anchor Bay, uh, you know, they always change their logos over time. But you got that classic logo right there. So, very cool. Um, so, the next one is very similar to the Dawn of the Dead set. And that is the Evil Dead Ultimate Edition. And I, I still think this is the best release that we've had of this movie. Because, again, you have uh, two different versions of the movie. You have the widescreen, widescreen version. You have the full frame version. But you have a lot of bonus features. It's a three-disc set. Very cool. Again, absolutely love this. Uh, once again, uh, the old school Anchor Bay uh, logo. I just love this so much. You know, I go back and forth. Do I like uh, the Dawn of the Dead set or the Evil Dead set? I really love the Evil Dead set, though. I think this is, this this is, in my opinion, still the way to go. So if you ever come across this, I know it's DVD, um, you know, but, you know, it has a lot of great bonus features and a lot of the... Um, you know, Blu-ray and 4K releases of the movie are great, but I remember, you know, this was like 2010, 2011, when Anchor Bay was still around, 
um, you can get the uh, standard Blu-ray, but for like a limited amount of time, you can get a Blu-ray with a second disc in there, which I believe was just DVD, but it was all the bonus features that were, I believe, on this set. And um, that was like a limited thing, and then eventually that went out of print, so the only way to get the movie for a while on Blu-ray, at least here in the US, um, was the standard Anchor Bay Blu-ray, which had pretty much no bonus features. It had a, a auto commentary. I think it had a trailer, uh, very little with it. Um, I had that for a while. Then I had the UK Steelbook that had all the bonus features that were, pretty much all the bonus features that were on this um, Ultimate Edition. Um, all the bonus features were on that UK Steelbook. And then of course over time we now have you know a 4k set which is fantastic i have the best buy exclusive one love it but um as far as bonus features go for the first movie um this was the way to go especially you know getting something in the u.s yeah this was the way to go with this movie um just just awesome and so i'll open the inside for you with this one as well very cool. Uh, you know, came with a poster. They always did such a great job with a lot of, you know, kind of just the added stuff in there. So like a poster or like postcards, whatever it may be. Just very cool. So I think that one is the um, widescreen version. And then you have the full frame and the bonus features. So really neat. Absolutely love this. I know it's, I believe it's Shout Factory. They're releasing a new um, Evil Dead documentary. Hopefully it gets a uh, physical release. That would be awesome. Um, but I know that they're coming out with a new um, Evil Dead documentary, which I'm glad they're finally doing a new one um, because again, for the longest time, if you wanted to watch a making of or a documentary, especially on the first movie, um, this was the way to do it. You know, unless you had the UK Steel Blu-ray Steelbook, um, or if you were the one of the lucky ones to get your hands on the Blu-ray with the DVD uh, bonus material um, that Anchor Bay released, um, this was really the only way to get. Um, any bonus features so really cool uh, again I'm gonna keep this one I I really really love this and uh, one of the last uh, few anchor Bay stuff that I have um, so now going on um, to another thing that I loved was documentaries they released uh, pretty much two documentaries uh, you know I have both of them still with the slip covers I believe like it still has a lot of or both of them still have a lot of the the stuff that came with these uh, documentaries. Um, and again, um, stuff that I'm gonna keep. Uh, but the first one is uh, the second documentary, I believe, that they release kind of on a, a franchise as a whole. And this is when the uh, Friday the 13th remake was, remake was coming out. And uh, it is, his name was Jason. So the first documentary. Later on, they did a better documentary you know, the Camp Crystal Lake documentary, but at the time, this was really cool to have because, you know, they were talking about, I believe, yeah, um, all the films leading up to the Friday the 13th um, remake, or reboot. But yeah, so really cool. Um, his name was Jason. I uh, bought this literally, I think, the week that the remake was coming out. And it still has a slipcover. This is when Anchor Bay changed their logo. Um, but from what I remember, this is the only connection the Friday the 13th franchise had with Anchor Bay. Because um, I don't think, um, and I could be wrong, but I don't think any of the Friday the 13th films um, were released from Anchor Bay at all. Um, so... It's really the only connection that the Friday 13th franchise had with Anchor Bay. So very cool documentary, definitely not as good as, you know, the Camp Crystal Lake one, but for the time, this was really cool to have and still really cool to have. And again, something I'm going to 
um, hold on to. I, you know, again, nostalgic stuff, nostalgic purpose, but it's also a really fun documentary. And if you're a Friday the 13th fan, if you don't have this, try to track it down. I don't know how much it's going for now. It might be out of print, but I don't know how much it is. Uh, you have a poster, and then you have a movie ticket for the remake. So, pretty cool. Um, and then, it's a two-disc set. So you got disc one and disc two. And I always remember that this documentary and the next one I'm going to talk about always had um, that second disc in there for, full of bonus features and uh, really, really loved it. So, very cool. His name was Jason. Um, out of the two documentaries, this of course, because I'm a big fan of this franchise, um, this is my favorite horror movie franchise, this one was my favorite one. And I, you know, like many of you, I, you probably agree with me here, uh, we need an updated um, documentary on this franchise. It's long overdue, we've had um, three movies since the last film, they, the last film that came out that they talk about on this documentary. We've had, you know, the two Rob Zombie movies. We've had, you know, Halloween 2018. We have two other Halloween movies coming out. So hopefully um, we get a updated documentary on this franchise. Uh, but that is the Halloween documentary or the Halloween franchise. And the Halloween documentary I'm talking about is Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Uh, again, have the slipcover with it. The last time I checked, this thing was going for 89 plus dollars on Amazon, which is crazy to think that, you know, you know, I knew it was out of print because Anchor Bay is no longer with us, but the fact that this is going for almost, you know, $90, almost $100 is crazy. So if, you know, you're on eBay one day and if you come across this, um, definitely pick it up, guys, if you don't own it. But again, I think this was, this wasn't the first time I was introduced to Anchor Bay, but it was one of the first DVDs I bought. I know that. Um, and being a fan of the franchise, I had to own this. This covered, um, you know, John Carpenter's film up until Halloween Resurrection, which I think came out or they filmed um, either the same year that that movie was coming out or the year after that movie came out. But um, yeah. Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Similar to His Name Was Jason. Um, again, covered the first eight movies. Um, a lot of bonus features on there. As you can see, you got a two-disc set. So you had the documentary, and then you had a whole bunch of great bonus features um, that came with this. So, you know, at the time, you know, you had the Halloween 25 Years of Terror um, convention, which was the first convention um, based around the franchise. And so you had a lot of panel discussions. You had um, actors and actresses who are no longer with us, um, you know, on this documentary. Um, just really cool guys. And again, at the time, this was, if you were a fan of the Halloween franchise, this was something to get. Um, we had not really had too many documentaries on any horror movie franchises. This was one of the first, if not the first one. And so if you're a Halloween fan, this was definitely something to get. Again, very cool. I really love this. Um, you know, it's a little outdated. Um, you know, as far as picture quality goes, it's not the best now. But again, at the time, you know, what is this like 2000, 2006 is when this came out. Um, and they filmed this in 2003 or 2004. Um, this was something to get. I mean, this was a way to um, watch a documentary on, you know, one of the best franchises out there, in my opinion, um, which was Halloween. So I'll open this up again. Um, I went to the 30 Years of Terror convention, so I have my um, magnet right there. But uh, you get, uh, with this one, I thought this was cool. You got a, you got two booklets. So you got the one that came with, um, kind of, you know, the documentary, talking about the documentary. And then you had a comic book, which again, really cool. Something just, you know, a little, a little nice, a little nice extra thing in there. I feel like I can't talk, uh, but a little nice extra thing that they threw in this DVD set. 
And then again, it was a two disc. So you had the documentary with bonus features, and then you had a whole bunch of other bonus features on there. So very cool. Um, again, it's, it's outdated for its time, but this is 15 years old now, which is crazy, 15 or 16 years old. Um, and you know, this is pretty much, again, if not the first, one of the first things that started all these, um, uh, you know, horror movie documentaries that we would get. I think this and Going to Pieces, The Rise and Fall of the Slasher Film, were one of the first documentaries to come out talking about horror movies. Um, and then as far as a franchise goes, this really is what started, you know, the Never Sleep Again documentary later on, you know, the both, both the Friday the 13th documentaries. Again, there's a new Evil Dead documentary coming out. Um, so really cool guys. So Halloween 25 years of terror and then I'll go through these pretty quick. So what started my, my, you know, kind of introduction to Anchor Bay was, um, this VHS tape right here, which used to be my mom's, but I would go, sorry, my nose itched. I would go, uh, to my mom's, you know, during, you know, school breaks or summer vacation and I would visit her and um, she had this VHS tape right here, which is kind of worn out or worn down, uh, not in the greatest shape. It's a, it's that lenticular one, but as you could tell, not in the best shape. But when I would go visit her, I would watch Halloween and I would watch this VHS tape over and over and over again. And when my mom was getting rid of, you know, her VHS tapes, you know, she was going to throw out the Halloween films. And, you know, I said, don't throw them out. I'll keep them. And I'm always going to have this. This is um, hands down, you know, you know, nostalgic for me. And again, old school Anchor Bay logo, uh, you know, before a lot of the DVDs, you had, you know, this. I mean, I think you had some Halloween DVDs that came out. Um, and I think I'm gonna do a separate video kind of going over some rare Halloween items that I have on physical format. Uh, but I wanted to just show off, you know, a few things in my Halloween collection. And this is one of them. So Anchor Bay VHS tape. Um, I remember, uh, you know, when you finish the movie, if you wanted to check out any bonus features, at the end of the film, they had like a 10 minute uh, documentary on Halloween. And so if you wanted to watch the bonus feature, you had to fast forward all the way to the very end credits once they were finished, or you had to watch the movie and then go watch the documentary. Um, so yeah, still have this today. Um, there's the tape itself. I have some other Halloween uh, VHS tape editions, which I will show off in a later video, maybe my next video if you guys want to see that. Uh, but yes, Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, my, my, one of my first memories with Anchor Bay, uh, my first memory with Anchor Bay was this VHS tape. And the last thing I'm going to show off, uh, again, is something Halloween related. Um, I almost pulled the Halloween 4 and 5 10s, which not just with the Halloween movies, but Anchor Bay was known for releasing these really cool DVD editions. Um, you either had, you know, a Hellraiser tin, um, they released The Wicker Man in a wood box, which was really cool. Um, didn't get any of those. I do have the Halloween 4 and 5 um, Anchor Bay tins, which I will show off again later on. Um, but the one I'm going to show off now is the Halloween uh, 30th anniversary commemorative set, which I had to read the side of it, but um, yeah, there it is right there in the front. But yeah, so this was the 30th anniversary edition of Halloween, and you got Halloween, the Carpenter movie, you had Halloween 4 and 5, you had uh, the Blu-ray of the first movie in here, and then you had the um the first disc of the halloween 25 years of terror uh documentary so i think the one thing that really stood out with this were one of the two one of the two things that really stood out with this was it was a limited set limited set um and you had that really cool front um artwork with michael which was almost like a 3d 
um, kind of image. So came with a nice little slip like that, which I still have. And then uh, this was like a um, kind of a rubber, rubber, you know, Myers mask, but still very cool. Um, you had artwork on the sides. There's the back. And then there's that. And then some behind the scenes, behind the scenes um, images. And then opening it up, this was neat. And you had um, some more images there. So very cool. And then on the inside, of course, you had uh, the um, DVD set, which again, in the US at the time, I mean, this was, this was pretty cool to have because um, even though you didn't have all the movies in a box set, you had the ones that Anchor Bay owned. So you had, again, the first movie, uh, you know, Halloween 4 and 5, plus bonus features. And I mean, this, this was really cool at the time. And it's still one of my favorite editions that I have. But again, very cool. And then opening it up, there is the Blu-ray, the DVD of the first movie. Um, these were the, oh, and you have the TV version of Carpenter's movie there. So very cool. Again, uh, documentary, which is really neat. Again, the 25 Years of Terror one. And then you had Halloween 4 and Halloween 5, which were the re-releases. So I believe these were just better transfers for the films or extra bonus features. So um, again, at the time, you know, you didn't really have too many Blu-rays out there. Uh, except for the first movie, I believe, just the first movie. Um, so, you know, and as far as box sets go, this was, you know, way before we had these Scream Factory sets, which are now out of print. Um, so this was a really cool thing to have. I still love it today. Um, still holding on to it. Just, just a great um, Halloween edition to own. And uh, once again, um, something from... Uh, Anchor Bay. Um, Anchor Bay also, I believe they released the um, 35th um, Blu-ray edition of Halloween, the digibook, the small, like, kind of flimsy digibook. Uh, still pretty cool, but they had that and so many other editions of Halloween. Like, Halloween, outside of, you know, like, Evil Dead and Dawn of the Dead and, and Day of the Dead, which I don't have that cool DVD set anymore of Day of the Dead, but Halloween was like their big moneymaker. Um, and, you know, Anchor Bay was pretty much known for Halloween. Um, so this was just one of the things that they had. So again, wanted to show that off. Uh, but anyway, guys, this was just a quick video. Well, not a quick video, but a, a video that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, kind of talk about horror movie boutique companies. And again, I wanted to start with... The, the one of the first, if not the first, horror movie boutique company um, to come out, which was Anchor Bay. Uh, again, I loved old school Anchor Bay. I loved their obscure horror movies that they released or obscure movies. Um, really loved all of that. And then later on, they would get into, you know, releasing a lot of mainstream stuff. But for me... Anchor Bay, I'm always going to remember the early days of Anchor Bay, VHS, DVD, even before Blu-ray, and uh, always remember them for, you know, the early days of their company. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I don't own too many, you know, DVD editions uh, from Anchor Bay anymore. Over time, I've upgraded on Blu-ray stuff I wish I would have kept that I don't have anymore. Um, but, you know, I still have some Anchor Bay stuff. They also release, you know, a lot of great, like, independent movies. So Lightning Bug, uh, Rest in Peace to Robert Hall, have that movie still from Anchor Bay. Um, Spiral, Adam Green Spiral, they released a lot of, um, the, the first Hatchet film from Adam, Adam Green. Um, so a lot of great, um, you know, independent stuff as well. Um, so I hope you guys again enjoyed this video. I'm rambling now. Um, we're going on 30 minutes, but I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know your first memories with Anchor Bay. Was it Halloween like me? 
Um, let me know down in the comments below and what are some of your favorite, if you still have them, some of your favorite Anchor Bay editions that you have in your collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. In with a positive, out with a negative. Um, thank you for watching. Go eat some Skittles and so much love to you all. And I'll definitely talk to you guys soon. And um, again, much love to you all. I keep repeating myself. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.